Homestead Handyman here. So uh, I thought that I would uh, do something a little different today because we're doing a lot of stuff outside, springtime stuff, and I'm seeing a lot of birds around. And so I'm thinking maybe I'm going to make a couple of bird houses out of some scrap cedar that I have. Let me show you what I'm looking at here. I found this photograph here of one. Let's see if I can show it to you. There you go. Can you see that? So something similar to that uh, that will go outside and uh, have some old cedar. So let's go see what we have. I'll walk out to the barn and see what's laying around here for cedar. And then we'll go from there. First thing, put on the safety glasses. Okay, let's go. So there's a hard worker over there doing uh, some gardening work and she is planting some tomatoes that we got going in the greenhouse. Things are looking lovely. I'm thinking of put, putting those birdhouses up over here somewhere around. So let's go uh, look around here and see what we got for scrap wood. All right, in here to look at the wood collection. It's a bit of a mess in here, but you can see I got a lot of lumber stacked up in here. That's all old growth pine, a bunch of cedar over here, some junk on top of it, of course. Come over here is where I think I might have some. Oh, what do I spy down there? Oh, looks like we might have some wood around here. All right, well, I'm going to dig through here and see what I can find. All right, so I got all the pieces cut. This here is going to be the back right here. And you can see right there that this is cut on a 22 and a half degree angle. Three backs. These are going to be the sides. So that'll go like this here. Let's see if we can do that this here. Here's a back. Of course, this one will be as high. It's going to actually go like this. But I can't hold that up like that. So that'll go like that. This here will be the bottom. Let's move this out away. And that'll fit in here. And I still got to drill holes in there. Then we'll have, let's see, what else? This will be the front, which will fit on here like this. Up, oh, timber. Then this piece will go on the front right here and this will have a hole in here so I think I'll assemble this on here and just drill a hole straight through get it on both of them and then let's see what else is there then this oh this angle right here this angle here is 22 and a half degrees now I didn't have any wide boards but I had these old ones here, some old barn wood, and so I think I'm going to use them on the top as the lid. So we'll see how that goes, uh, since that's all I got. All right, let's, uh, let's get rolling here. Okay, so I wanted to get the hole right here centered on the front at six and a half inches. And in order to do that, it's the block is a three by three, and so... I'm putting it at five inches and then uh, I'm going over an inch and a quarter from here to here and then I have on the other side an inch and a quarter so that'll center this piece right up put it in here and I'll just check it for square 
it's good. And what I've decided to do is just use some nails. Alright, so I used some inch and a quarter nails. Perfect, they didn't come through. And what I'll do then is I'll drill a hole right straight through here. And that'll be the entry into the house. Now you got to remember that the roof is going to come down this way here. And so you have to make sure you put this on the right orientation. Otherwise, you will have trouble. Don't ask me how I know that. Okay, so now I need to drill an inch and a half hole in here. I had a, a hole saw bit, and so that's what I'm going to use. You could use a spade bit. Whatever you have, whatever works for you. So we'll take it nice and slow and let it rip. Alrighty, there's one of them. I'll take the plug out of here and then I'll finish drilling it up. I wanted to note that underneath here I have a piece of wood as a backer and then I'm clamping it down so the thing doesn't spin around on me. So let me get this out and finish this hole up. Okay, so the next thing I did was I uh, took these corner, I mean these uh, bottom pieces and I cut 45s on them so that this will have a little room for drainage and then if the nest is right here there'll still be a little bit more room for drainage because I'm going to drill four holes right in here and I'm just going to eyeball them come in a little bit and let them rip these are quarter inch holes There you go. Alright, I'll do the other one. Alright, so let's start putting this together. So what you got here is, of course what I had to do is, don't forget the angle, and then I measured down at half an inch here because we're going to leave a gap in here for air. Okay, so this is going to go like this. This here goes on the inside. Then we have another side. Oh, nice save. It goes over here. It's starting to look like something, right? Now, we have the front that goes on here, like this. And then, we have the top that's going to go on here, like this. So, nice, huh? All right, so what we got to do here is, I'm going to drill some holes in here you can use nails you can do it any which way that you like to put it together I prefer to use some screws here so I'm gonna pre-drill and pre-drill the front I'm using some inch and a half screws on here, exterior, with the old Torx head on there. Put that over here, and then one on this side. Alright, now you can see that there's a gap right there. And that is going to be so that when we put this up here, that's where we're leaving that space there. We put the lid on there, it'll be room for air for the boides. All right, so the next thing we're going to do here is we have the top, the, the bottom in there. See how that's captured? Oh, but that's going to be captured in there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this in here, line that back up, line this up, and I'm going to put a screw right in the center here 
to hold that thing in. So we'll get that in there. All right. Now that we have that in there, we can take this like this here. And I got my half inch up here. And what I like to do here is clamp anything when I can. So we'll put that on here. And that's clamped on there. And now what I can do is come over here, clear the area. Of course, I'm trying to do this to show you guys. This looks like it's a little bit... Let me get my head out of the way there. There we go. That's about even there. And I'm going to drill a hole over here. Make sure this is all nice and even. And drill one over here. You know, these screws are supposed to be really good and not split and everything, but uh, I'll take the extra step and, and, and pre-drill. Because after all this work, you don't want it to just split. Because that would be a bummer. Alright. So, now that we got that done, I think also, additionally, what I'll do is put a screw over here in the side that's going to hold the bottom in. Now, I'm going to show you the tricky part here, just coming up, that's going to make it nice. And I'm going to put one in the back, right here. Okay. Alright, so there we go. We have it in there. You can see this is all together here. Three screws in there. Now, on this side, what we're going to do is we're going to make a pivot. We're going to make this piece here that will fit in here. Have our little gap there. And we're going to take and we're going to drill holes here. And put these in here. And then one screw in the front that will be accessible uh, so next year when I want to go in there and clean out the birdhouse and get the old bird nest out of there I'll be able to take that screw out and this piece will pivot open so what I'm going to do here is get this going so I think the first thing I can do is put the screw in here right here that's going to be the point that this screw will be removable. So we'll just put that in there and plus it will help hold it as we're assembling it. Okay now we got these pieces here Next thing I'm going to do is put in one more screw in the back since there won't be anything holding the bottom in on this side. So I think just for the case of overdoing everything the way I like to do it, I'll put another screw in the back and that will hold the bottom in a little better. Alright, so that's good. Now we're going to go here. What we're going to do is go from here. I'm going to measure up 8 inches. And I will put a mark 8 inches. We'll go over here. Same thing. 8 inches. And we'll take that mark. And just transfer it around to the back. 
Alright, so in the back what we're going to do is, can you still see that? Okay. We're going to take that here. I'm going to measure in three-eighths of an inch, which is about halfway on the three-quarter inch. So we'll go roughly there. We'll drill another little pilot hole through, down through everything. Take the galvanized nail, two-inch nail, pop that in there. All right, same thing on the other side. Let's see, I'll uh, extend that across a little bit. Measure it in. Oh, I hate to use the drill. Making sure that this stuff right here is all lined up. Now, popped it in there. Hopefully this is going to work, you know, when I'm filming. Alright, now, we have right here and here, these two nails in here, and that should make a pivot. So if I take this screw out, Just imagine we're going to have the roof on here, right? Like this. So we should be able to take this and look at that. Pivot it up, go in there, clean out the bird's nest, pop that back on there, shoot the screw back in, and voila, good for another year. So the only thing left to do is to take the top and put that on there. So I'll kind of eyeball around. And drill some holes in there. Look at how cool that's looking, huh? Don't forget, take that screw out there. You got the pivot point here and here. Yeah. Decides to move in. Now, down here at this bottom part, I'll just use two screws here and shoot this thing into a tree somewhere, and that will be that. All right, so you like it? Well, why don't you make one for yourself? Get your kids out there. This will be a nice little project, and then you get to enjoy it. See, you got some drainage down here in case any water gets in. You have a little air space in here, and you got the nice hole here that is double, double thickness, so the birdie has a little room to walk on there and get in there and do the little thing. All right, well, this is the Homestead Handyman. Hope you enjoyed this project here, and I hope you get out there and make yourself one of these, um, because it's a lot of fun, and you'll get a lot of years of enjoyment out of this, years. All right, the Homestead Handyman, out. If you like my videos, please like, share, subscribe, give me the old thumbs up. And you guys, have a great day. Thanks for watching. If you got any ideas, put it down in the comments below. Appreciate you all watching. Bye now. Okay, so there you go. There's one of them mounted right there. We'll just walk over here real quickly. There's the other one. And then one mounted over there on the solar shed. I'm really happy with the way they came out. You should build some.